Hey, Louis Stack here again, Fitter First. I wanted to point out we do a nice poster called Ball Safeties. Exercise Ball Safety, Do's and Don'ts for Ball Use. And the most important thing is the ball should be the right size for your body, with your hips or above your knees. The ball should be dated, and you should know how old it is, and it should be good condition. We talk about the safety factors, and the reality is if you're using it commercially, it should probably be replaced every 12 months. But for liability reasons, you don't need to run balls for an unknown length of time, for example, until they pop. It's a bad policy. We want you to be smart and be on the ball. So, free poster online, you can download it at Fitter First, or you can contact us, we'll send you laminated copies. So I'm currently sitting on a very old Jura Ball Pro. This is back in the day when we had no serial numbers in the balls. They had uh, no inflation date sticker. We just, balls were made because no one knew about how to do it safely. So I'm hesitating to stick this scissors into this ball and see what happens. Let's hope it deflates safely. It's an old ball. It started being safe at the beginning, but we saw what happened. It's so old, it's been compromised. The material is over 10 years old. Uh, it was on display in our showroom, just up on a long-term display. There's an excellent reason that you need to not use old balls ongoingly. If they get punctured, they'll be compromised. So make sure you know how old the balls are, date them when you inflate them, and make sure they're a high quality ball that you can trust. One more Dura ball. I'm not going to pop this one just now. I want to explain something. This is an 85. This is far too big for me. And my legs, I'm a way too high in the ball. So I want to make sure when you get sizing balls for people, we get the right size. This is an unknown brand. Shipped us as a sample to us from a manufacturer said this is as good as a Dura ball. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Not bad. You know what? That's pretty good. Not much air coming out of that. I was ready for a fall. I would have to call that as for this basic test a pretty good result. Now I've got one more I'm going to test here. This is uh, made in the US. It seems very firm to me. It's a foam ball. It's not as round as I'd like it to be. It's kind of egg-shaped. Sometimes you see that egg-shaped in balls, but it's always kind of nerve-wracking when they're a bit egg-shaped. And this one is 6 to 5, it's filled to 65. It's just rock hard. I don't know that I'd want to sit on this ball all day long, but uh, with some fear, I'm going to pop it. Okay. I'm not very impressed. I'm not interested in that product. So folks, use new balls that you know the history of, that are burst resistant, that are fairly firm, that don't give you that kind of results. It's just not worth it because you're probably not sitting on a one inch RX mat every single day. I'm doing this for my own experiment and to help our customers realize that ball safety is priority, is priority and we need to be very aware that old balls around places, homes, facilities, clinics, hospitals, need to be recycled and returned or replaced and bring new ones in and date them when you get them so you know what day they're inflated and then you have a good strategy. Louis Stack, Fitter First, thanks for joining me. It's been a nice fall. <laughs>